if I ask you to separate the small sand particles that are mixed with water in this glass, will you be able to do so? Well, turns out there is a way to do that and that method is called filtration. For this activity, all you need is a small beaker, you need a funnel and you need a filter paper. And as a last piece of equipment, I'm taking this bell jar, but you can also use a clamp stand or a retort stand. And we will see why is that needed? That is needed basically to hold this funnel in place. And for me, this bell jar is doing the work. But if you don't have this, you can still use, you can still at least hold the funnel with your hand also, but it will take around five, seven minutes, or you can use a clamp stand. So first step, as a first step, what we will do is we will try and fold this filter paper and try and fit it into the mouth of this funnel. So to do that, we will first fold it in half, then fold it in half again. Now try to open it. And once it is half opened, we hold this part inside and we try to put this part outside, just like this. So, so that a cone, cone is formed kind of like this. And then we, we can try and stretch it somewhat like this. Okay, next we try to fit this into the mouth of this funnel. All right, it, this is good enough. Next, what we'll do is we'll try to hold this funnel in place. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna place it like this and keep an empty beaker below, below the other end of the funnel. Now I will pour this muddy water, this water with small sand particles dissolved into this filter paper and wait for some time. And I want you to observe what happens. This process took around five to seven minutes. I have sped up the video. So you are watching, watching it go by really fast, but it took around seven minutes. Okay. We have enough collection in the beaker. Let's try to compare that with the glass over here. So we will remove, remove this funnel. Have a look at all these sand particles that are filtered out. Filter paper works great because there are extremely small holes in the filter paper, which can allow the water to pass, but it can filter out the small sand particles. Okay. Let's compare. Can you at least see the color difference? This one seems less muddy, right? This one seems more muddy. And to further separate the small sand particles from the mixture, we can, we can pour this mixture again into a new filter paper and then wait, wait for some collection in the beaker. All right. So this method is called filtration. And in fact, you might have just carried out this activity in your normal daily life. That is when you filter tea leaves, that's also filter. That's also a type of filtration.